It has to do with what we call your logical assumptions about life. And all of those logical assumptions that I usually call convictions were formulated, created between the ages of zero and five. Some of them, or a few of them after that, but most of them were ideas you had about life. So you created, or they taught you some ideas about life. It could be very, very simple ideas like um, life is difficult, right? And that could be an assumption about life. And that immediately becomes the way you see life. It's almost like a filter. It's almost like sand glasses. And then everything you do about life, you kind of expect life, for example, to be difficult. So because you expect it, you are the observer. And according to science and quantum physics, the observer affects reality and it goes back to what I told you that very interesting thing which is very important I need to it's very strong for me to repeat it I feel like I need to repeat it life does not happen to you you happen to life so you're an observer and very recently all the scientific research shows to us that the observer actually affects the result of the experiment mm -hmm. so in a sense if I have an idea about life the simple example we gave life is difficult I expect life to be difficult and then somehow life has to prove me right because mm -hmm. if I go about to do something and I have that idea and then someone else has an idea that life is easy both of us will experience our own packet, our own bubble of reality about the same thing. The ego is the combination, the, uh, the whole group of those assumptions, convictions, beliefs, definitions, you name it, you can call it anything of those. And yes, we are that. In a sense, we experience that, so we think we are that. But to be politically correct, no, we are not that. We are the three aspect mm. being.